Is your vote safe? That is the question that has counties all over our area preparing to shell out millions of dollars for new voting machines. And Target 11's Rick Earl looking at the debate now over those machines less than a week before the primary election, Rick. Yeah, David Peggy, for months there was really no controversy at all. Everyone seemed to agree that the current machines were old and outdated and needed to be replaced. But now some state lawmakers are questioning the decision to spend millions of your tax dollars for a problem they say may not exist. You don't have a problem with these machines. I don't have a problem with these machines. And you've never had a problem with them. As long as I've been here for a little over three years, we haven't had an issue. And, and I think since we've got them in 2006, we, we haven't had an issue now. Beaver County Commissioner Dan Camp says the current voting machines have worked just fine. But because of the state mandate, they're being forced to replace them. And they've decided to go with paper ballots and scanners at a cost of $1.2 million. The new equipment will be in place for the general election in November. After you're done marketing on your way out the door, it's your responsibility to put it into the scanner, which will tally your vote. The voters taking the whole process. The voters taking the responsibility of casting their vote. That's the safest, most secure way. So I know it sounds like we're going back in time, but there's no way to hack a handmarked paper ballot. All of the new voting machines will also provide a paper backup, something current machines don't have. The risk is real. It's accepted by people on all sides of the aisle. Former U.S. Attorney David Hickton, now the director of the Pitt Cyber Law Institute, commissioned a study of voting machines in Pennsylvania. These machines are absolutely hackable. They were once a reform, and now time has moved on, and now they are very vulnerable. Hickton points to this three-minute video by a University of Michigan professor detailing the potential pitfalls. I even turned one machine into a video game console. Imagine what the Russians and North Koreans can do. Last year, the Pennsylvania Department of State ordered counties to have new machines with paper backups in place by the 2020 presidential election. But now some Republican state lawmakers are questioning whether there's really a threat. How is a machine hacked that is not online? How does that happen? The state Senate recently passed a bill that stops the process and creates a bipartisan commission to determine if there's a need. We all want to make sure there's integrity in our election process. Everyone does. But we don't need to fix a problem that may not exist. Is it difficult to swallow to have to do something like this? Or yeah, I mean, as, as a fiscal conservative, it certainly is, is a little bit tough to, to swallow it, but it's something that has to be done. While the state is chipping in some money, Allegheny County Commissioner and Election Board Chair Tom Baker says the new machines will cost the county anywhere from 10 to 15 million dollars. The county is in the process of evaluating several different systems, but they all now come with that paper backup. My wife and I, you know, every time after we vote each, each election, we always wonder why we don't have a, a paper, you know, something with paper to take back with us. So uh, hopefully this will make people feel even more confident in their votes that they are being cast and being counted in the correct way. Now the legislation to delay the process is now in the House. If the lawmakers there don't take any action, the new voting machines would need to be in place by the presidential election next year, or the state could actually step in and decertify the current machines. Of course, stay tuned as this debate continues. That's a lot of money. A lot of money right. indeed. We will stay yes. tuned. Thanks, Thanks. Rick.